One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking. So what a responsibility you all have to be to tell the truth, not just to be first. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. What do you make of all the fake news that it affects? If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Among all the controversies and scandals that constantly hog the headlines, there's this one movie that's spilling the beans on a dark and sinister secret, illegal human trade. Sound of Freedom is literally showing us the bad and the ugly side of Hollywood. And here's the worst part. The industry seems to be giving it the cold shoulder, like they don't want it to succeed. But guess who's not having any of that nonsense this time? None other than the one and only Denzel Washington. Yep, you heard it right. This popular celebrity is putting his foot down and taking a stand against the industry's shady tactics. So what exactly did Denzel say? So what a responsibility you all have to be to tell the truth, not just to be first. The seasoned actor known for his outstanding performances and down-to-earth demeanor had some choice words to share about the current state of Tinseltown. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he pulled no punches calling out Hollywood's elite for their arrogance and lack of connection with everyday people. It's like a, you know, people say, oh, the difficulty of making a movie. I'm like, oh, send your son to Iraq. That's difficult. It's mm. just a movie. It's like, relax. Washington didn't shy away from addressing the declining ratings of big Hollywood award shows, attributing it to their overemphasis on pushing identity politics in the faces of viewers. He claimed that the public has grown weary of the so-called woke Hollywood elites who seem to believe they are above everyone else. They stand on stage, patting themselves on the back, and lecture the masses on how to live their lives, all while living in their lavish multi-million dollar mansions. But it seems that not all celebrities have lost touch with reality. Denzel Washington, a man who has clearly retained his grounded perspective, voiced his disdain for this behavior among his colleagues in the entertainment industry. He recognized that when Hollywood figures present a more humble and realistic view of their own privilege, they earn the respect and admiration of the public. Denzel Washington's no-nonsense attitude didn't stop there. He questioned the notion that making movies is an incredibly difficult task, comparing it to being a garbage man or sending someone's child off to war. I like being a garbage man better. Huh. But uh, they weren't bad jobs. It's like a, you know, people say, oh, the difficulty of making a movie. I'm like, oh, send your son to Iraq. That's difficult. He scoffed at the idea that actors should think they are doing something special just by making a movie. Denzel's message was clear. Let's not get carried away with self-importance. Making movies is a luxury and a gift, not a heroic endeavor. Interestingly, Denzel Washington seemed to have found an ally in none other than Mel Gibson, a Hollywood figure who's actually promoting the Sound of Freedom movie. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. So Gibson, who was sitting alongside Washington in the interview, was seen nodding in agreement with the veteran actor's candid remarks. Anyway, apart from agreeing with Mel about Hollywood, Denzel Washington has not only been a powerful presence in the entertainment industry, but has also played a crucial role in exposing the devious ways of the elite through his own genuine actions. The elites often try to present themselves as altruistic philanthropists, using their wealth and influence to portray an image of goodwill and benevolence. However, behind their carefully crafted facades, many of them are involved in heinous misdoings or simply enable such behaviors to persist. In stark contrast to Oprah's pompous display of elitism disguised as philanthropy, there's Denzel Washington, a true advocate for helping children. He's been actively involved with organizations like the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Save Africa's Children, and the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. Unlike Oprah's flashy endeavors, Denzel's commitment to making a difference is evident in his genuine actions and dedication. Aside from this, Denzel also exposed the underbelly of the movie industry, where powerful Hollywood elites try to manipulate and force actors into portraying characters that don't align with their values. In a tell-all interview that sent shockwaves through Tinseltown, Denzel Washington pulled back the curtain on the dark and often bizarre side of the movie industry. The legendary actor, known for his powerful performances, opened up about the peculiar roles he was once forced into, revealing the manipulative tactics employed by Hollywood elites. In the interview, Denzel reminisced about his early days in the industry, recounting a bizarre movie role he was offered in 1986. I got a part in a movie in 1986. 
I called it the nigga they couldn't kill. The film depicted a disturbing storyline in which his character, a black man, was accused of essaying a white woman. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, the plot involved several attempts to electrocute and hang his character, all while trying to paint him as some sort of twisted hero. But what shocked Denzel even more was the nonchalant attitude of some Hollywood insiders during the audition process. I said, right, that ain't funny. Mm. So to me, it wasn't funny. In the end, Denzel turned down the lucrative offer for the controversial role, a decision that paid off when he received an Oscar nomination for his next project, Cry Freedom. It was a testament to his integrity and the courage to stand up against the weird and distasteful roles pushed upon actors by the Hollywood elite. Denzel's revelation offers a glimpse into the often hidden world of Hollywood, where questionable decisions are made, and actors are sometimes forced to compromise their principles for fame and fortune. It raises serious questions about the responsibility of those in power within the industry and whether they are truly considering the impact of the roles they offer to actors. In any case, Denzel Washington's recent revelations and the chilling film Sound of Freedom are just scratching the surface of the rot that permeates the industry. But trust me, there's so much more lurking behind those velvet curtains, and if the truth ever sees the light of day, it'll send shockwaves through the entire world, leaving everyone stunned to their core. Meanwhile, one devoted fan couldn't help but share their thoughts, suggesting that the film's rejection by certain platforms is a clear indicator that it must be hitting uncomfortably close to the truth. The fact that the film was rejected by these platforms reveals that the film and Mel Gibson is absolutely right. By now we all know who hates the truth. Another fan chimed in, fueling the fire even more and insinuating that some of the least likely individuals might be involved in massive criminal activities. We all know that those that look the least likely to be a criminal of massive portions are the worst. The more money they have, the easier it is to cover what they do. Just look at every psycho in history. They were all kind, upstanding model citizens. Anyway, as more brave souls come forward to expose the shady dealings of these Hollywood elites, we can only hope that karma will catch up to them and they'll finally face the consequences of their misdeeds. The clock is ticking and the walls that have protected these power players are starting to crumble. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.